Eagle Boys Pizza, hope you enjoy the following Fresh and Local. Welcome to another segment of Fresh and Local. Back with us we have Chef Explorer Brendan Murphy. Thank you for joining us once again, Brendan. Good what afternoon. special treat do we have today? Well, this week we're going to stick with the British Isles. I did Scott one last time. This time it's Wales. Uh, it's a dish. It's an old-fashioned dish called Welsh rabbit. Welsh rabbit. It should be rabbit, and um, that was the whole idea. But if they didn't oh, catch rabbit, the poorer people would have cheese on toast instead. Okay. But with a little bit more. Ingredients. A little bit more flavour than yeah, a little bit more cheese flavor. on toast. Wonderful. Ingredients today. So, okay, so ingredients for the Welsh rarebit is butter. Butter. 50 grams of butter there. A um, little bit of flour, which goes in. Okay. Uh, some milk. How much milk? 250 mil. 250 mil of milk. Yep. Um, cheese, heaps of cheese. I've probably not measured this cheese. I've done a chefy bit. I just <laughs> grated it in there, but I'll show you when I do the dish. So for people at home that are quite meticulous with measuring, how much cheese would you? Expect? How much cheese? That was 225 grams. 25 grams. All right. Grams. So we all get that. It's seasoned with a bit of cayenne to give it a bit of bite. Salt and pepper. Very British ingredients. English mustard. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And of course, beer. Yeah. Now is that this, the magic ingredient? This is a magic ingredient. Now, oh, some of us gone from the bottle already. I don't know who drunk that. <laughs> it wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. Um, but this is a little creature's pale ale. Um, of course, traditionally, you'd have maybe a Welsh um, a Welsh beer or an English beer. So what I'm going to do first, it's, this is a great snack for kids as well. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm going to make a sauce, a bit like a bechamel sauce, a white sauce, okay. with the flour and the butter. Um, and that's the thick. Is that agent. a high heat, low heat, medium heat? This is quite high to get it started. And, and, uh, hey, look, I couldn't stay out of the kitchen. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to move your microphone. Keep okay. talking. Because okay. you like to pop into your mic. Turn this way a little bit there. Keep talking, please. Okay, so this I'm is only the mic assistant today. In France, this is called a roux. It's uh, called a what? A roux. I a thought roux. you said something completely different. <laughs> R-O-U-X. Let me just go and roux away. A roux, what is that? And it's, very, it's the thickening agent for a sauce. So okay. in this particular case, I want to just cook out the flour a little bit and keep it white, and we'll make a white sauce with the milk. It's called a Bechamel sauce. Add the cheese, it's called a Mornay sauce. So basically, you're making a cheese sauce. If we wanted to colour this a bit more, we'd make it blonde. Blonde? And then, and then we'd Can we start... have a brunette version too? We, could, we do have a brunette. <laughs> the blonde version will go for things like fresh tomato sauces and chicken and fish sauces. Mm, I like the, the sound of that one. If I brown it to a brunette roux, that's a new invention, that live on TV, a brunette roux. There you go, roux. all that ideas here. <laughs> if we do that, we, we'd make a brown sauce um, and brown the roux and then we'd yeah. make a brown sauce with a brown stock make your demi-glaze or, or gravy. Oh God, lots of, lots of chef terms coming in here. Yeah. I'm getting a bit lost. What I'm going to do, I'll just turn that down a little bit. I'm just going to take it off just a little bit because... Um, Is this something you've made with time. your kids at home? I have made this and they do eat it really quickly, as usual. <laughs> so I've got some milk here and just bear in mind, I've got some milk, I've got some mustard. I'll just go through these, which is a spoonful. Mustard. And I'm going to put the English mustard in next. Now, I know you might need to... Got that, got that on camera OK. So we're just going to mix... Is this another recipe that you've developed mix. yourself or is it adapted to No, the, this is really a traditional recipe. I may have varied it a little bit with the beer because I think traditionally they had a big vat of beer on and they reduced it to make mm. it stronger. Um, I haven't done that. I've basically just put the beer in. Well, I imagine a, if you're a little bit you more than find normal. meat and rabbits, you probably couldn't afford your beer either. That's right, so... They probably made their own. <laughs> this is smelling really nice. You're making so, me hungry, Brendan. Get that cooking there. So we need a bit of heat on. So really, whenever you're making a sauce, it's a little bit at a time. We do want... This is going to be very thick, because we do want it quite thick, because we're going to spread it on toast. Um, so I'm not Can sure... Can you have it with anything else besides toast? You could do. You could actually perhaps put it with pasta. Okay. I reckon you could mix it with pasta and have so a pasta make a bake. a full meal out of it? Yeah. Mm. So it's quite All thick. Milk. So you just add it in gradually. Add, so add it in on. gradually. I'm rushing a little bit here because <laughs> I know we're always short of time. That's alright. As long as we don't get food poisoning, it's okay. So in goes the. Once you've made the sauce, basically the rest of it's quite easy. So we're just right. giving that a stir. And it 
look. Look what I found on the shelf there. What a great book to read. Is there a special on this book at the moment? Because I, I would buy it if it was on special. There is, especially if you want to buy somebody a present as well. You can get two for the price of one. Really? So how special. much are they? Well, it's on. It's in the shops, it's twenty-two dollars. On my website, it's on special for eighteen. Eighteen? I wouldn't pay plus, eighteen. For plus it. a bit of polish. I reckon if you gave me two for one, I'd two buy for it. one. Mm. If you're, if well, Fred, only, only how if you're about I buy it and then I'll give it to you as a present? How about we both buy it and you pay the eighteen dollars and, and I get mine for one? free? Oh. Well, how Funny how that it? worked out. How do you get that for 18 you bucks just, for two books? Just go to my website and you can order on PayPal, but you must send me an email to say you're a couchie. Oh, very, very important the tip. And then I'll send you two for the yeah. price of one, signed and books. It, and it is nice to see you cooking low cholesterol food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, something I can eat and it won't affect my figure. Now, don't worry about it, Kama, you won't be affected by this. But... Beer. Have fun. So, around about well, 200 that's... mils of beer. Mm. Quite a lot in there. And then you can just drink the rest if you like. And you can just well. drink the rest, yeah. It's pretty good. And that, good. that, of course, is a, a really nice uh, pale ale, so. So you mentioned that your kids can eat this and you put beer in. Do you think some parents might look at it and think, hmm? They may do. They could, <clears throat> could miss it out. But the thing is, if you put the beer in and you reduce it a bit more, you'll, you'll actually mm. re reduce the alcohol by evaporation. Okay. So that's so what it ends we, up with just tiny yeah, it's, it's yeah. what that's we do. That's okay. So you won't get your kids drunk. It's that's the main thing. We wine as well. So a bit of salt, a bit of um, cayenne. Not too much. Not too much. Don't want it too spicy. A bit of the old Worcestershire sauce. Sauce, sauce. Don't know if you know, but Blokes World's coming up after us, so we need to finish the show soon. <laughs> I mean, not that we mind. We'll probably turn the lights off and you can keep cooking. <laughs> but they've just told us at Aurora we want to hurry up. Right. New Zealanders have already switched off because they only get <laughs> they, they only get 48 minutes of the 54 minutes. Right. Apparently, it's one of the traditions. But they want us to hurry up. Okay. Is that Here's what you're doing now? Everything's yeah, I'll, in. I'll Here's your cook. bread, oh. Brendan. You haven't lost your mind. It's over there. Poor so Brendan, we are trying to help a bit you. longer, maybe 15, 20 minutes. We're trying minutes. to help Brendan with the therapy. There we go. A couple of pieces of toast, and then I'll get one of my magic little ingredients. Oh, is that where you if keep you your magic? you've got whole kitchen under here, so people. So, spread it onto the toast. Oh, that does look And nice. then mm. we spread that on as thick as you'd like it. You can even use it the next day. Pour it on there, and then... That's actually really nice, isn't it? Mm. Onto the tray into the oven. So you would put that on a, a yep. tray into put that onto onto the oven? Put that onto a tray. But with that one, you could probably one. just take it home straight from here and eat it, eh? And as we always have on the show, we've got some already in the oven. Fred Why do I have to pick out the hot tray all the try. time? I mean, yeah, I am diabetic and I've got no feeling in my hands, but that's not the reason why you should... <laughs> <sighs> there we go. Thank you, Brendan. I'll just pop that down for you. See, I thought it looked good as you were spreading it on. It looks even better yeah, out the oven. That does look nice. It's sort Basically. of like a really trendy, and toasty. Just, just, cut yeah. them in, just cut them into little wedges. And you've made it look slightly. pretty as well. What have you chopped on the top there, Brendan? Just a little bit of parsley. And one more thing, because we're in Wales, you must use a leek. It's, well, it's the Welsh national vegetable. So how would you would you just pop that on? I've just julienned it. Oh, you've got to cut it up. <laughs> julienned a little bit, blanched it in some hot water, and maybe just put a little we bit did, fancy here. We had, well, we had Sexpo a few weeks ago, and I was wondering where he was going to with the leak, but that's OK. <laughs> All yours. All right, so we just make it look nice and dainty. Cut up nicely. He wants you to try it now. He's gonna try it. Try here, it. you try it, because I've got gastric banding, and if I try and eat bread... <laughs> I'll probably choke on TV. Not that that's a bad thing. What do you reckon? Are you going to try some of your own cooking, Brendan? Yeah. Much better than having ordinary, ordinary cheese, cheese on toast. toast. Beautiful. Much, much Classy better. toasty. Over to you. Yeah. See you, Brendan. I'm going to go and buy the book Brendan, now. Brendan, that you. was a lovely... Don't know where to put this lovely, lovely recipe. Great alternative to the ordinary cheese on toast. I think people should try it. It's a bit more tasty, which... I would have thought maybe coming from that part of the world, my food might be a bit bland, but no, you've yep. surprised me today. Lots of good taste in there. Thank you very much for joining us today, Brendan. You're welcome.